right guys so welcome to today's video on today's video we are going to discuss four pillars that I implement in my everyday life on staying on track on my personal goals these four pillars can be applied to financial personal physical career wise any types of um, goals that you have you can basically implement these four pillars to make sure that you are staying on track or for people who don't know or don't have goals, this can be a good way to understand your next steps into basically identifying where your next steps in life are going to go. So, yeah, so basically um, the number one thing that you have to do, obviously I believe it's the most important one, is setting a goal. Setting a goal is setting your end point, which means setting your endpoints onto this particular journey now whether that is losing 20 kilos by next summer next summer would be your endpoint and the journey would be losing 20 kilos throughout so the goal is very very important as basically think about a, a ship it always has an end goal it always has a destination Without the destination, it's going to wander off different places. It's going to be lost. It is not going to reach anywhere. So finding goals or understanding what your goals are is the most crucial part of your whole journey. And the for people who don't know what their goals are, basically you have to sit down and be with yourself for a while and understand where you want to be in the next few months in the next five years in the next 10 years um, and that can be as well we're talking about fitness wise personal wise if you're starting a career etc and the number two thing that i always like to do after putting my goals onto a piece of paper or onto my calendar is setting action plans what are they? Action plans are, in my opinion, small milestones along the way to reach your end goal. I think of them as like fuel stops for your end goal. So what it does is having a, a milestone reach, for example, if you are on a fitness journey to lose 20 kilos, if you say this month I want to lose two kilos, what that does is by the end of the month, when you look back, and maybe you reach those two kilos because you've worked hard for reaching those to that achievement you say you, you kind of motivate yourself to push for the next month and the next month and this by time can have a very good compound effect now when it comes for example to business that can be signing your first client so i want to sign my my first client within the next uh, six months and then once i sign that maybe i sign two clients in the next six months that can be a compounding effect into pushing yourself forward, staying motivated, and also progress through your journey to reach the goal. And that is crucial also, as sometimes throughout the journey, you are going to feel a bit down and you are going to feel a bit demotivated. So when you look back on the milestones that you've already achieved, it might remind it may it might it may remind you basically to um, basically how far you've come and that can be at least the small motivational part that you might need on that day to keep pushing forward and keep trying so first two goals set set a goal and then create an action um, plan basically things that you are going to do to reach that goal the third thing is to eliminate distractions now this is a very important thing that you should implement into your journey on reaching an end goal a distraction can be anything to be honest it can be if you're trying to get four hours of deep work onto a project and you are constantly finding yourself scrolling through social media then by eliminating the phone in that room you will not find yourself scrolling through social media so what i like to do is for example if i want to do this i would leave the phone in another room or use a nap blocker or something like that 
if you're trying to lose weight, drinking every weekend is not going to help. So if you have friends that are constantly drinking, maybe the good thing to do is maybe either drop it down to one time a week or limit the alcohol intake. Because as we know, alcohol is not good for losing weight. So yes, understand your distractions and eliminate them. And this can be a, like a cup catapult effect to to basically push you forward as the distractions are holding you back but the slingshot effect once you cut the distractions is going to push you forward so think about this and keep it in mind when you are basically uh, thinking about your distractions and how to eliminate them and how to get better and the number four thing that I pretty much uh, implement is create a structured routine now a routine can hold you a bit more accountable and easy to follow as it is like a schedule that you built for yourself to stay on track with what you want to achieve so creating a routine in my opinion for myself I find that it is very beneficial to my productivity levels and to how much I manage to fit in a day so that is why I have a routine and for people that work shift work myself included I understand that it can be very very difficult to obtain a routine so what I do is I have an adaptable routine what that means is for every shift that I work I know that if I work the morning shift I try to train in the afternoon if I work the evening shift I'm training in the morning if I work the whole day shift I'm going to maybe include a small short run before the shift so at least I managed to fit a training block throughout and this is crucial to understand and adapt to your schedule basically so basically that wraps up the short and sweet video for today i do hope that you find this useful and i do hope that you implement some of these steps for your personal goals or whatever you are trying to achieve and if you do have more points that you would like to share feel free to drop them out in the comments and like always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.